you guys welcome to my channel in today's video I wanted to share how I have been doing my nails lately I've been doing my nails for a few years now and I feel like I have gotten a whole lot better it's taken me a lot of practice as well as watching a lot of videos and learning and I feel like I'm at a point where I'm actually really happy with my cuticle work as well as with the way my nails look overall the method that I'm going to be sharing about in today's video is a builder gel extension method you can use builder gel to extend your nails and create a nail extension or you can use builder gel to strengthen your natural nail I'm going to be doing both in today's video so if you guys are interested in that and how I've been doing my nails lately then just keep on watching first thing that I'm gonna do is remove this old set here using the builder gel method I was actually able to grow out my natural nails when I first did this about two months ago my natural nails were barely past the top of my fingertips and now as you guys will see they've grown out quite a bit the length right here is the exact length of my natural nails so i do think this method is really great if you're trying to grow out your natural nails you have naturally weak or thin nails and you want to add sturdiness to them and i feel like it looks really natural almost like your own nails the tips of these are a little bit bulkier than i would like because i ended up kind of cutting down anything past my natural nail and then just left it like that and I would have kept it on longer but I saw a really really cute nail photo on Pinterest and I'm not sure who the credit goes to so if you guys know let me know I tried to see if I can find who did this nail design but it didn't really say I'm not gonna do the ghost one just because I don't do Halloween and I know that the black one is definitely giving Halloween vibes but I have two black cats one of them is Pepper the other one is Chai and I thought this design was so cute and I wanted to try it for October so that's what I'm gonna do today for the base you can see that it's like a pink nude base and then one of the nails has a black cat design which we're gonna attempt today so this is the inspo pick right here I am gonna link everything that I use down below everything that I got is off of Amazon I recently got some new nail products that I'm gonna be trying in today's video from the brand in hype never tried them before but they really intrigued me as I was searching for a thicker viscosity type builder gel so I got this medium builder gel here along with their rubber base coat with a tint and then also their rubber top coat. A rubber base and top coat is kind of like a thicker gel. So unlike a hard gel, a rubber base is a lot more flexible which is great if you want a little bit more fluidity I guess for your natural nail. So I'm going to be using all three of these and to start I'm going to grab my Melody Susie drill bit here. I've had this Melody Susie drill for quite some time. It's nothing fancy. It doesn't have a lot of settings. I don't think I'm knowledgeable enough to be using those professional nail drills, the ones that have like 3200, all the different settings. I'm just not really familiar with it yet so I still use this one because it's very basic. You have this notch here which changes the direction of the nail drill and then you have this speed here so you can go really low or really fast and it was very affordable it came with these drill bits here which I still use to date and I use for cuticle prep but in order to remove any hard gel products I bought these off of Amazon that can be used with the Melody Susie drill and as you can tell this one has a lot more ridges it's a lot more intense a lot more rough so you do have to be careful when using it you don't want to file down too much but this is great for removing anything that's kind of like a hard gel in my opinion it's just one swoop it kind of removes quite a bit of product and I don't have a fan so I'm going to be using a towel here to catch all the dust even though the dust is still going to kind of go everywhere I do wish I had like a dust catcher thing but for now this is just what I use there are some nails where I'm going to remove the gel completely I have quite a few layers on each nail I started off with a base gel and then I have a few layers of builder gel and then I have two layers of gel polish and then a gel top coat so I have quite a few layers on here and for some of them I'm just gonna be removing the first couple of layers until I get to that builder gel I'm not gonna file down all the way to my natural nail and I feel like by doing this it's a lot more healthy for my natural nails because I don't have to remove the product all the way to my natural nail so I'm not risking filing my natural nail but for some of them I do have a little bit of lifting because this nail right here it broke underneath so it lifted from the gel products so on this one I'm gonna file completely to my natural nail but the rest of them I'm just gonna file enough until I get to those like one or two layers of builder gel meanwhile while I do that I usually like to watch something because it is a little bit of a tedious process I'm not gonna lie so I'll just 
I don't know, probably gonna watch something on Netflix. Here are what the nails look like once they're filed down almost to my natural nail. This one I ended up clipping because it was half broken so I figured it would be just easier to start all over and create a nail extension. I actually have a little bottle here with some isopropyl alcohol. So I'm going to go ahead and spray each nail and then I'll wipe it to get rid of all that excess dust. So what I'm going to do first is actually clean up the cuticles before I even move on to creating a nail extension. And I feel like cuticle prep has definitely been a game changer for how long builder gel lasts on me because I have used builder gel in the past but I would get a lot of lifting or they would pop off. So I feel like changing my cuticle prep has just made such a huge difference so I wanted to share. I'm not going to share in depth because I'm not a professional so I don't want to, you know, say something that's not correct or anything like that but I do follow the advice of the professionals and I'll leave some links down below. I kind of follow the dry manicure, Russian manicure, the e-manicure, whatever you want to call it process when it comes to cuticle prep and essentially what that is is you're getting really 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 close to the cuticle using drill bits such as this, these pointy ones here or sometimes I've seen people use flatter ones like this like the cylindrical one I'm actually going to use this one here so using this drill bit I'm going to lift my cuticle from my natural nail lift it up and then I'm going to push it backwards and file it off so if you've ever seen Russian manicure usually the cuticle work is immaculate but I do think you have to be very careful when it comes to doing things like this because you don't want to you know go too far if you're seeing any blood whatsoever that means you nicked it you went too far so just watch a ton of videos which is what i did i just watched a ton of videos and kind of got an idea for it and that's what i've been using and i feel like by doing that and getting really really close to the edge this has been a game changer for how long this lasts and i really don't get any lifting at all so the dry manicure russian manicure has been a game changer for me so i wanted to share that so that's what i'm going to do next before i do the drill bits i'm actually going to grab i got this set right here off of amazon and i'm going to push my cuticles back using a cuticle pusher like this and then i'm going to go in with the drill bit I forgot to mention that I did also shape the nails and then went over the nails just to kind of smooth out any ridges or anything like that. So for this nail here, because I'm going to be adding a nail extension, I'm going to need nail forms like this. This one came with a previous builder gel that I had, but you can buy these on Amazon for like five, six dollars, something like that. Very affordable. Pinch it in the middle and you are going to apply this underneath your nail. So you want to make sure that the tip of your natural nail is sitting on top of the form and then adjust it so that the entire nail is sitting on top of the form and I do have a little ridge here in the middle I don't know if you guys can see kind of like divots in this was actually from press on nails I had to give on press give up press on nails I couldn't figure out what it was I thought maybe I was being too rough with my cuticles filing away too much and then after a lot of trial and error between using press ons and then not using them I noticed that it always happened after press on nails I'm not sure why and I actually found a post on reddit where a lot of people had the same experience so sadly enough I gave up press on nails maybe 
maybe not indefinitely because I do like them, but on my thumbs, both of them in particular, just the thumbs, weirdest thing ever, it gave me this little uh, ridge in the middle of my nail, so I'm not crazy about that, but it is growing out. So when I first did nail extensions, the ridge was all the way to the cuticle, and do you see how much it grew out? So to start, I'm gonna grab my Young Nails Protein Bond. This is a air dry formula. You don't need to cure this under a lamp. And this really helps with adhesion when you're doing any kind of like nail extensions, you're using a nail tip, anything like that. This is really great to help with longevity and adhesion in my opinion. So highly recommend something like this. And I'm gonna apply this just to the natural nail. You don't want to get it on the skin and again it is an air dry formula so you don't have to cure it and then i'm also going to apply it on my natural nail in the areas where i don't have builder gel so just kind of near the cuticle let me add one more layer another thing i forgot to mention i'm kind of all over the place here but follow with me you do want to make sure that your nails are free of any excess dirt or oils so I don't know if you guys saw, I have my little bottle here with isopropyl alcohol. I went ahead and sprayed every nail when I was done filing just to make sure that my nails are free of any excess oils because you don't want any lingering oils or anything like that. And now that we have the protein bond on, let me go ahead and close that. The first thing you wanna do is start off with a base gel. So whenever you're using a builder gel, you are gonna to need to use a base coat first, a gel base coat. I'm gonna be using this new one here from InHype. It's a brand that's new to me. And this is their rubber base. Products that use the word rubber in it, from my understanding, are a lot more flexible. If you don't wanna use a harder builder gel, you can use just this rubber base coat to add a little bit of strength. But my natural nails are very thin. They always have been. So I'm really interested to see how this is going to work. All right, so I'm gonna apply that base coat just to my natural nail. And I'm gonna try to get it as close to the cuticle as possible, but you do not want it to touch the skin. I've read online that this also helps to kind of fill in if you have any ridges like I do, so I thought it would be perfect for this. I'm gonna cure this under my nail lamp for 60 seconds. I have my nail lamp here on the side of me, and this is what I'm gonna use to add a nail extension. And you can see right here it says medium. So this one is a lot harder than Builder in a Bottle. We do sell a Builder in a Bottle, but I decided to go with this one here because it's gonna be a lot harder, kind of more like an acrylic. You can see how this is pretty thick compared to typical gel products. And there are different ways that people apply this. For me personally, I am kind of a beginner. I'm gonna create a very thin layer on my natural nail. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit more. And this I'm gonna to use to build the tip. Some people build the tip first and then apply it to the natural nail. I feel like either will work. Let me know your thoughts down below what it is that you do if you use Builder Gel. But do you see how I'm applying this to the nail form? I'm kind of extending the nail. And it's okay if you don't get the shape that you want because you can always file it down and shape it later. But the main goal right now is to extend the nail. Okay, I have a thin layer going and I'm gonna go ahead and cure this under the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, now that that cured, I'm gonna take off the nail form and I'm gonna work on building this nail up. This is what it looks like. Do not remove that sticky layer because you are gonna be building it up. So I'm gonna grab some, oh, I grabbed a little bit too much. Grab some more of that builder gel and start building your apex and building that nail up. This is after it is cured. I personally like to work in layers and I don't like to make it too thick. I'm still kind of working with Builder Gel. This one's more of a medium thickness and don't worry if you have any lumps or you don't like the shape. Again, I'm gonna be shaping it later, which I'll show in a little bit, but now I'm gonna work on these nails here. So before I do the Builder Gel to strengthen it, I'm gonna go in with the rubber base coat and apply this to the entire natural nail from cuticle to tip and then cure it. Now that I have the rubber base gel on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a layer of builder gel to strengthen all of the nails. Again, from cuticle to tip. Almost like nail polish. 
And when you're doing this, you don't want to make the cuticle too thick and make sure you have a nice apex. Alright you guys, took a little bit of time because I'm still getting used to working with Builder Gel and my technique. I'm kind of new to Builder Gel even though I have used it in the past. I usually use the Gelix method. The Gelix method is a lot easier because it's a nail tip that you're applying to the entire nail so you don't have to worry about structure or your apex or anything like that. But here are what the nails look like cured. I actually think this color is so pretty just on its own. I'm going to apply some isopropyl alcohol to the tops and wipe off that glossy sticky layer and then using a hand file I got a bunch of these on Amazon I think these are really great I'm gonna file the tops of the nails to get rid of that smooth surface before I go in with the black French tip nail design and then the cat one on this nail here so I'm gonna buff the tops very lightly get rid of that smooth surface and then also shape them just a little bit Nails are all done. Here is the end result here. I actually ended up removing the black French tip because for whatever reason, I'm not sure what happened, but the black French tip started to lift immediately, almost like a sticker. So I'm not sure what happened there. The cat design stayed, and this is the only nail where I didn't apply a rubber base on top of the builder gel. So I'm wondering if maybe that has something to do with it, but I am so happy with how my nails came out. They are not perfect. I feel like there's always room for improvement, but I'm just so happy with how the nails came out. And I really love the nail products from InHype. They're fairly easy to use. And I really like the colors that I chose, like this nude pinky color here. You can wear it on its own. You can use it as a base or you can use it underneath a nail design. They have a few different colors to choose from, but I'll link the ones that I use down below. So this wasn't a super in-depth tutorial, but I kind of wanted to share how I have been doing my nails and the things that I'm learning as I go along because I have been doing my nails for a few years now and I feel like I'm just learning more and more as I go along. I do have a few videos already on my channel and I was comparing what my nails looked like then to now and I'm really happy with my cuticle work. And again, I feel like there's always room to learn and improve, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below again i will link all the products that i use down below and i hope you guys found this video somewhat helpful and informative thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in future videos